start with the team in uh, alphabetical order. It's uh, Atkins, Burgess, Briscoe, Club, Crabtree, Fox, Graham, Hall, Hock, Maguire, Moore, Morley, Myler, O'Loughlin, Peacock, Roby, Shenton, Tompkins and Westwood. Probably not a surprise to uh, a lot of people who got out a little bit earlier than what we would have uh, anticipated. But uh, very excited about the team as a coach of uh, this squad. And I'm very excited about it for a number of reasons. I think uh, most of you would agree that it's a, it's a uh, very big forward pack and uh, we feel that we, we need to uh, be strong up front to give some of our, our younger youthful backline a, a chance to play to the ability that they, uh, they've already shown at, at club level this year and uh, for a few of them uh, have already shown internationally. So uh, very excited about it, looking forward to it. It's um, certainly some new faces there, which uh, brings a, a freshness to the team. Um, there's some experience there as well that uh, I think is important to bring through um, team culture and club and, um, and uh, culture for the country. I think that's very important too for um, the senior people to pass on their uh, experiences as well. So very, very much uh, honoured and excited to be coaching this team. And uh, obviously, once again, led up by Captain Jamie Peacock. So, very much uh, over to you now. Uh, first question, certainly not out with the old and in with the new. There's, there's as I mentioned, there's quite a few experienced people there. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, Jamie Peacock and uh, Adrian Morley and et cetera, et cetera. Um, there's, there's a wealth of experience in amongst it. But there are uh, certainly some fresh faces and new faces in amongst it as well. For those people who have missed out, um, that have been there before, certainly the door's open for them still, um, you know, down to these guys to some degree, you know, they, they're getting an opportunity to, to uh, prove themselves and maybe, you know, uh, secure places for the future, but that still will be determined by their, uh, for the people who play in this test match, that will still be determined by their, their form later in the year at club level. Uh, for the ones who missed out, uh, and there's plenty, some tough calls. There was really, it was some tough decisions to make because, um, you know, there's a lot of form players around it in Super League at the moment, but uh, also felt that there was a need to, to have some freshness in there and some change and, and uh, give some other people some opportunities to show what they can do. But um, certainly uh, not experimental, um, as it's been described by some people that it was going to be an experimental team. Certainly not. I've got no... I don't think there's any experiment in this. I think um, the people that there uh, deserve to be there and uh, are there on form. Yeah, um, excited and uh, off the moon, to be honest. Uh, no, it's a um, big experience for me and um, I'm happy. You obviously played last year for England against Wales. What was that like and uh, what, what are you expecting from the game against France? Um, last year against Wales, it was... Um, Obviously, we know that Wales was a developing team, and it wasn't. It was odds-on favourites, but this time it's a bit different because France are a really good side, so it's going to be a lot tougher and a lot, a lot harder of a game. Thank you very much. Yeah, I was, um, I was over the moon. I was ecstatic, you know, to to play for my country is something that I've always aspired to, and finally I'm here, so it's good. Form's been pretty good for Huddersfield. How much, how important do you think that has been on your call? Uh, obviously, if, if you play well for club level, you get you, you get a shout to to play for. Your country, so yeah, I've uh, tried to play consistent. Hopefully, uh, Tony's Tony's seen that and he's uh, he's given the call up. A few familiar faces in that squad who you'll know, obviously the Saints lads and El Crabtree. How how important will that be for you to settle in the squad? Oh yeah, it should be It'll be pretty easy really to settle in with them them boys. But yeah, there's some other boys that I don't know, so it's um, it's going to be a learning curve. But all the rugby lads are generally generally good lads and easy to get along with, so it should be fine. I think. Uh... One of the exciting things with playing for England is getting to play with players that you wouldn't play with at club level that you get to play against all the time and um, there's a lot of players in there which um, I've played against and um, admire the talent coming through in Super League but not actually played alongside so it's exciting for myself to get to play alongside some of the backs in particular and, and some of the younger players coming through. It's um, As you get towards the back end of your career it's exciting to play with new players so yeah. You know I certainly think I've Picked a squad that can can achieve that, so you know, we'll be feeling great about ourselves and going into this game very confidently. Clubs are producing more young young outside backs. There's there's some behind them as well, and there's some you know that aren't quite in Super League that are very exciting too, or 
you know, some other young people that are just cracking into first grade uh, at the moment in Super League and um, in the outside back. So, yeah, it is exciting. Um, it is a, an area that we haven't been strong in in the past, but, you know, this is showing. This is showing that there is um, some improvement, a lot of improvement in that area in terms of depth and, um, you know, excited about that. I think it's good for the country that we are producing some out, more outside backs and there's probably a few outside backs that are going to be disappointed not to not to have been picked. Um, so that's, but it also show, shows the state of Super League at the moment that we are, you know, producing more players from more clubs and, um, and I think that's a really healthy sign as well. What are you expecting from the French halfbacks? What do you know of the French team in particular? Um, not too much to be honest, but Thomas, obviously Thomas Bosque is a, a really good player and you can say yourself from the place for Catalans and so no, I think it's going to be a really tough game and obviously Bobby Golden will have him really fired up and be a really physical game. Obviously this is your opportunity to stake your claim for the Four Nations that kicks off in October. Um, do you think if you have a good performance against France you might be able to uh, take the position off Rob Burrow? There's a lot of games before that's that game to be honest mate and um, even if I had the best game of my life on Saturday and then um, play poorly for the rest of the season he's not going to pick you because he's pick on form so no, I hope to be playing well at the end of the season, so I do get picked for the uh, Four Nations. You're one of the form players of Super League this season. How, how good is it that you've co continued the form that you were showing last year in the Championship into Super League? Yeah, that was obviously a big question that I was people were asking, could I progress and play thing? And I, I thought I, I played quite well, and obviously this has warranted me call up. So, no, I'm happy and I'm delighted I'm playing well. Tough, big physical game, really, same as always. So. Yeah. Just, just got to knuckle down and play my best and hopefully we'll get the win. And how important is it to put a good performance in ahead of this year's Four Nations and try to secure that hooker spot? Obviously, every game you set out on the field, you just want to play well. So, if you, like I said, if you play well, then you give yourself a chance to, to, to be considered at the end of the year. But I'm really looking forward to that, uh, forward too far to, to that, really. I just, just want to play well for the rest of the year, really. There's, a, there's players who were considered from all clubs. Yeah. It wasn't a... Uh, conscious decision um, to uh, spread it around. It's, it's the way it worked out. But you know, they certainly had a couple of players who were highly considered, and, and as we've mentioned before, may even get a phone call if, if things went their their way this weekend. So uh, you know, it's still important for for players this weekend to perform to their best because you know, there's still some opportunity to to uh, gain selection.